Hi friends! Today I want to read a story to you called Animal Faces at Night by Hannah Kate Sackett, illustrated by Martin Cam. These are drawings. White Rhinoceros. As the sun sets and the air cools, the white rhinoceros stirs and rises to its feet. It walks across the African plains, nibbling or grazing at the grass as it goes. Its wide, flat lips help the white rhino grab hold of the short grass. The white rhino has two large horns on its nose. One, two. These horns are made from a material similar to hair. The larger of the two horns is usually around 24 inches long, but it can be longer. The rhino uses its horns to defend itself against animals like hyenas and lions that hunt at night. Rhinoceros, white, white rhinoceros. Oil bird. As darkness falls, many nocturnal animals or animals that are active at night stir from their sleep. In South America, the oil bird emerges from the pitch black cave it roosts in during the day to look for food. This bird commonly eats fruit. The oil bird uses its strong beak to pull fruit from the trees then swallows the fruit whole. The oil bird makes high-pitched clicking sounds that echo off hard objects, such as trees and cave walls. Scientists think that oil birds navigate by listening to these echoes. Fruit bat. Like oil birds, many bats rely on their sense of hearing to find their way at night. Other bats, like the fruit bat, rely on their good eyesight and excellent sense of smell. During the day, large numbers of fruit bats hang upside down among the trees of Southern Asia and Africa. They wake up at dusk to search for food and use their sense of smell to find the fruits that make up their diet. These bats have peg-like teeth that are used to crush fruit. Fruit bats swallow the fruit juice and spit out the seeds and flesh. So they don't eat the whole fruit. They just chew it up and swallow the juice and spit everything else out. Kiwi. The kiwi is another animal with a, see a keen sense of smell. This is unusual for a bird. Found only in New Zealand, the kiwi has nostrils at the very end of its long beak. It also has tiny wings, but cannot fly. Once the sun sets, the kiwi moves about, sniffing around the forest undergrowth for food. It uses its beak to turn over bark and fallen leaves in search of worms, seeds, and berries. It also stirs up the soil looking for insects, which it quickly catches and eats. Hmm, it kind of uses its bill as the shovel to stir up the soil and find bugs to eat. Aardvark. The aardvark has a long nose and large nostrils that it uses to sniff out ants and termites. Once the aardvark has found a termite mound or anthill, it digs into the nest. While it is digging, the long hairs around its nostrils close together. This stops dirt from going up its nose. The aardvark catches its tiny prey with its long sticky tongue. At night, its large ears point forward, 
helping the artwork sense its way through the darkness. It kind of feels around with its ears. They're long ears. Look at that long sticky tongue. Finnick fox. The finnick is a small fox with very large ears. Its excellent sense of hearing helps the finnick track its prey, lizards, insects, and birds in the dark. The finnick's ears also help it stay cool in the hot desert. Their large surface area cools its blood as it passes through this part of its body. The finnick has large eyes to help it see when there is very little light. Many nocturnal animals share this feature. Remember, a nocturnal animal is an animal that is active at night and sleeps during the day. Hi, hi. One of the strangest nighttime animals is the eye eye. The eye eye is a very rare and endangered monkey like creature that lives only in the rainforest of Madagascar, a country in Africa. At night, the eye eye relies on its large eyes to search the trees for food. It then uses its large ears to listen for the sound of insect larvae feeding inside the tree trunk. Wow, those are some good ears to hear that. When it hears movement, the eye eye rips away the bark with its strong teeth to get to the larva inside. Its teeth are so powerful, they can break through the thick shell of a coconut, a food that makes up its diet. Jaguar. This big cat of South America often hunts by climbing trees and waiting in the darkness for its prey to pass below. The jaguar uses its sharp teeth to catch its prey, including large rodents called, let's see if I can say this right, capybaras and pig-like peccaries. Like other cats, the jaguar has eyes that reflect light, allowing it to see well at night. The dark spots on the jaguar's face and body help it to blend into the shadows so it can hunt its prey without being seen. So the spots are its camouflage so other animals can't see it at night. Tasmanian Devil. Another nocturnal animal is the Tasmanian Devil. Found only on the Australian island of Tasmania, the Tasmanian Devil has powerful jaws and teeth that allow it to eat every scrap of its prey. When threatened, it opens its mouth wide to show its teeth. Its ears turn from pale pink to a deep red. The Tasmanian devil earned the name devil because of the bizarre noises, make, noises it makes, ranging from snorts, snarls, and coughs to blood curdling shrieks. I would not want to meet this animal. He sounds scary. Gecko. The to toke gecko, a large lizard found in Southeast Asia, was named after the noise it makes. Only males make this bark, which sounds like toka or gecko. Scientists think this sound is used to attract females. The gecko has large, bulging yellow eyes to help it see at night. Two clear eyelids that are joined together protect the eyes. The gecko's large flat head and wide jaws are designed to catch insects, mice, and other lizards. The toke gecko is thought by some to bring good luck. Good 
at his long tongue and very big eyes. House mouse. The house mouse is a nighttime animal that commonly visits people's homes. Instead of eating insects, this mouse is more likely to find its meals in cupboards or on kitchen shelves. Its large, flat, sharp-edged front teeth help the mouse chew through cardboard and wood to get to food. The house mouse can even chew through leather or tear up cloth to make a nest. It has good hearing, but weak eyesight. The house mouse uses its long whiskers, which are highly sensitive to touch, to find its way in the dark. Many other animals, such as cats, use whiskers in the same way. Catfish. The catfish is named for its whiskery features, which give it the appearance of a cat. The whiskers are sense organs called barbels. The barbels are equipped with taste organs that help the catfish find food in dark waters. The European catfish has long barbels in the upper part of its face and shorter ones beneath its chin. The American bullhead has horn-like barbels above its mouth. Some Asian catfish have barbels that look like worms. The catfish lure their prey into their mouth with these worm-like barbels. Luna moth. The long sensors on the head of a luna moth called antenna. Antenna help the moth locate the source of a smell. Some moths have smooth, narrow antenna. The luna moth has feathery antenna that are especially sensitive. Male luna moths use their sharp sense of smell to follow scents given off by female moths. Unlike most moths, the luna moth only eats when it is a caterpillar or larva. Because the luna moth does not eat, it only lives for about one week. The luna moth has four spots on its pale green wings called eye spots. One, two, three, four. Scientists think that these eye spots scare off predators, such as birds, who may perceive the spots as the eyes of a larger animal. And here are some facts about these animals. Thank you for reading with me. Bye-bye.